As Indians, we often refrain from buying subscriptions because we feel we are spending a very big amount up front for the benefits that we are going to receive over a period of time. But often what happens is that the benefits that we are going to receive after paying that amount will actually greatly leave behind the cost of the subscription. So we need to think if a subscription is actually worth before paying for it or not. And analyzing these things can often be difficult. Hi everyone, my name is Mayank and in this video I will be talking about three subscriptions that I have taken over the past year which have actually been valuable to me and you can also make a judgment if they will be useful to you. If you are new to my channel, I wanted to tell you that my channel talks about books, life and productivity in general. So if you are interested in these topics, do consider subscribing and if you enjoyed the video, please like and share the video as well. I would also like to point out that I am not being sponsored by any of these apps and you should only subscribe to these subscriptions if you actually feel they are worth the money. And don't spend any kind of money on things which are not useful to you and which will not be valuable to you over a period of time. The first subscription that I want to talk about is Medium First. Now, Medium First is a subscription which costs around 750 rupees but it will accrue over a period of one year and you can use these uh, um, subscription to actually avail multiple subscription in other apps. So basically what happens is this is a bundle of subs subscriptions given to you in one amount. So if you're buying a Paytm for subscription, you get subscription to multiple apps in multiple categories like entertainment, uh, food, delivery, fitness and many other categories. Personally, I have always refrained from buying Paytm for subscription but during the past two months, I saw an offer on Paytm first which actually sold a deal for me and I went ahead and bought the subscription. Now, the subscription actually amounts to 650 rupees only because you get 100 rupees as cash back instantly in your Paytm wallet. One of the subscriptions which was included in the Paytm first membership was that of Storytel. Storytel three month subscription is available as a benefit in Paytm first. Now let me tell you that Storytel originally costs 99 rupees per month. This is an audio app that gives you access to multiple audio books available on the platform and you can buy the subscription by paying 99 rupees per month. But when you buy Paytm first, you get a three month subscription of uh, Storytel along with it. So actually Paytm first, you are paying 650 rupees and you are getting Storytel subscription for three months. That itself is something which is very valuable because it instantly decreases the cost of the subscription. Along with the, uh, the Storytel subscription, you also get multiple other subscriptions in Paytm first, which you can check out. So a very simple way of finding out if the Paytm first is worth to you is to actually go ahead and look at all the deals which you are getting. If any of the deals is actually useful to you and worth your money and you feel you're saving money, go ahead and buy Paytm first because you'll get other offers as well inside. The second subscription that I would like to talk about is Sound Pro. Now, music is something we all listen to and we all have option of listening to free music on uh, YouTube and even on many apps. Even Sound itself is a free app to listen to music. But the thing is, if you listen to free music on Sound, you know that it comes with ads. And for many music lovers, it is a very big distraction. You don't want to listen to ads while having to listen to music because you want to be constantly in the flow of the music. Interruptions are not welcome. YouTube is also a good uh, alternative, but again, YouTube is something which you cannot listen in the background. So you have to uh, buy the subscription of YouTube, which costs around 129 rupees per month, I think 129, 130 rupees per month. That is again a bit expensive. Starbun Pro subscription costs 399 rupees per year. And I was ready to pay the price for this because I feel that uh, the collection in Starbun Pro is greatly great. Uh, we can find almost any song on Starbun Pro. Or along with it, the, the recommendation feature of Sabun is actually very good. So if you just uh, randomly search for any song and you try to uh, listen to it, you will get recommendations of uh, similar songs in the playlist. So that uh, really helps you to, uh, you know, relax and uh, switch off from all the uh, work that you're doing. Or if you want to listen to any particular kind of music, you can do that. All the other benefits of a uh, music stream app are there because you can listen to instant music and playlists and all the things are obviously there but I feel the subscription is worth it just because of the recommendation feature 
and a collection of music. The third subscription that I'm going to talk about is Kindle Unlimited. Now, you all know that I have a Kindle, but Kindle Unlimited is not a subscription which comes along with Kindle. You have to buy it separately if you want to access the books in Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited, in short, is a subscription service uh, worth 169 rupees per month in which you get access to many books which are available on the Kindle Unlimited platform. You can read those books without paying anything extra. But not all the books are available on Kindle Unlimited. Most of the books available are from Indian authors or the old classics which uh, have been published long back. So if you're interested in reading, reading these books, then you can look for the Kindle Unlimited subscription. A very simple way to know whether the subscription is worth for you is to look for any book which you actually want to read. So let's say if I want to read a book and I find out that it is available in Kindle Unlimited, then I think of buying the subscription because if the book costs let's say around 150 rupees per month and if I have to spend just 19 rupees extra, I get a subscription which gives me access to even more books in the library. So that is something which you can look out for. Um, at a time you can read 10 books in the Kindle Unlimited library which is great. So again it is something that you can look out for if you are interested in trading. So these are the three subscriptions that I felt were actually useful to me in the past year or so and you can also subscribe to them if you want. If you felt this list was useful to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel and please also like and share the video. I will see you guys soon with more useful uh, videos. Thank you for watching.